In this video, we will learn about how to perform the practicals in electronics. But before you start performing the practical, let us understand what are the basic ideas in electronic practical. These ideas are equally applicable for the electrical practical also. So, there are some concepts that we should know about uh, and uh, we should be thorough with these concepts. So, first concept let us take as voltage. Now, we have see, uh, heard about this voltage many a times, but what exactly voltage means? So, <coughs> First, we will understand what is the meaning of potential and there we will go for the voltage. So, potential is related to voltage. Now, what is mean by potential? Let us consider a tank, water tank and this water tank has some water in it. Now, if we keep on pouring the water in inside this tank, obviously, if we have suppose a tap here at the bottom, then the force that is coming out of this tank will be more as the level of the water increases. Suppose this is the level, then the force will be less. If the level increases, obviously force will increase. If the tank is almost full, then the force will be highest. Okay. So, that means we are increasing the level of water, that means we are increasing the potential of the water. And we know uh, in potential energy or potential energy related uh, discussion, we know that the potential means what are the capacity uh, certain material has uh, with, with which it can do some work. Okay. So, as this level increases, the potential also increases, the potential of doing work increases. Now, let us consider there is another tank which is connected here. Let me first erase this. Okay, let us erase a small portion. And let there be another tank which which has opening where we can just connect this pipe. Okay. There is another tank which is almost empty. Now, what will happen? In this case, the water if the level is high, obviously the water will start flowing from say tank A to tank B. Now, since this potential of water is high here or the level of the water is high, obviously the uh, level of say uh, tank B is less, then this water will flow from A to B. Now, if the level of these two tanks becomes same, now what will happen? This is the another situation. Now, will the water move from A to B or say B to A? No. Practically, no. Theoretically, we can say that equal amount of water is going from A to B and B to A, but uh, that has no meaning. Practically, no water will flow from this uh, tank A to B or B to A. That means, now the difference in the potential of A and B is 0. At this level, the difference is 0. And what was the difference when this A was full, the tank A was full and B was almost uh, empty. So, the difference was maximum like this. So, when the difference is maximum, then the water was flowing or water was flowing with higher speed, right. So, similarly, we can use the similar concept with the potential. Now, instead of water, we will consider that there are two batteries or two potentials instead of batteries and this first one has more potential than the second one. The diagram may be look like 
look alike, look similar. And now if we connect these two, as the potential of say A is more, so that means in general we talk about say positive charges are more here, la, la, large number of positive charges. Then when we connect it with the very less number of positive charges, the charges will start moving from say uh, source A to source B. Say that this has some potential say Va and this has some potential say Vb. So, the potential difference is Va minus Vb and this potential difference is called as the voltage. Now, instead of two different uh, objects or two different cell like structure, what we can do, we can just have one cell or one battery in the same structure. So, let us consider this as the positive terminal, the upper one and this is the negative terminal. So, this is our simple battery and we know that the potential is like 1.5 volt. Okay. That means the difference between the potential of point say A and point B is 1.5 volt. And when we connect this battery to some load, load means it is maybe like light, fan, all the electrical appliances which are work on the electricity, they are called as load. So, let us consider it is shown by say RL, it is a kind of resistor. Okay. So, when the current flows through this, the light will glow up. That means the potential, now uh, we can say this po positive terminal has higher potential, negative terminal has lower potential. How much? We do not know. We know the only difference between these two potential is 1.5 volt. Okay. And the current is flowing from say point A to point B. Okay. And when the potential uh, difference between A and B becomes almost 0 or very less, uh, practically it is not useful, uh, it may not be 0, but it is very less, then this light will not glow. And then we say that the battery is now exhausted and the potential of the battery now it is not 1.5, it is less than 1.5 or it is less than 1 volt. So practically it is of no use. Okay. Uh, in theoretically, we call it as zero battery. Now, while understanding this potential, we should understand the current also. Now, if the potential is higher, obviously the current will be more. Now, instead of say one battery, now suppose we have two batteries like this and we connect these two batteries in series. Like this. So, now the potential is high and therefore, we will have more current passing through this. Okay. So, the current will pass like this. Since this is DC, the current direction is fixed okay, from positive to negative. So, we have two quantities. One is the voltage that we have seen and what is voltage? Voltage is the potential difference. We do not know what is the exact potential of one terminal or the other terminal. We are just talking about the difference. Higher is the difference, more is the voltage. Now, you may see some kind of uh, DC sources where the DC sources may appear something like this, a box like structure where we are using the DC sources having the, uh, uh, the output will be like like this, this may be positive, this may be negative, obviously the positive one is red and the negative one is mostly black. Okay. So, this is also a source of battery, of course, uh, we can have some kind of potentiometer here, uh, just like the, uh, the uh, regulator of the fan and as we increase the potentiometer, the voltage difference between these two will increase. So, this is giving the voltage. Okay. And the supply is AC and the output is DC. So, it is converting AC into DC. 
Now this voltage or the potential difference can be connected to the circuit, say some kind of circuit. Okay. And then the work will be done and the current will flow through this circuit. Now how to measure this voltage? So voltage is always measured just like we can see the potential difference or the water level difference. So here what we are doing is we are uh, finding out the difference between the level of water in say tank A and tank B. Similarly, we can find the difference between these two. So to find the difference, we just use one point on red side, the other point on the uh, black side that is negative and positive and we connect a meter called as voltmeter in between these two, always. Okay. So if we have a potential like this, say this is positive, this is negative, we can connect the voltmeter in between. Of course, we, if voltage is higher, then we will use the voltmeter. If the voltage is less, then we can use the millivoltmeter. So M is small, so small and V is the capital, okay, millivoltmeter. And <clears throat> using this voltmeter or millivoltmeter, we can find out the potential difference. Okay. We will never connect this voltmeter in between these two. For example, uh, suppose, let me take this eraser. So, you cannot just cut the circuit in between and then add the voltmeter here. This is not a proper way. This is not a proper way. You cannot connect a voltmeter like this. This is wrong. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Got it? Now, if there is a circuit and now again we will go back to the uh, our simile. This uh, water tank and the potential difference. Okay. Now, whenever the water level difference is high, the current is flowing from say uh, tank A to tank B, uh, water current. So, similarly, the charges are flowing from say uh, source A to source B. So, whatever the current is flowing through the circuit. Now, if you want to measure the current, you have to use some kind of uh, machine, machinery here or here. Okay. So, similarly, in case of any circuit, let us have uh, a small circuit here. Say this is a battery, and obviously, this is positive, this is negative. We know, and there is circuit here. Suppose there is a diode and then resistor, and it is connected. Now, if you want to measure the voltage then we will have to measure the voltage in between two points, okay, like this or maybe like this here. But if you want to measure the current, then we will have to cut the circuit first. So, say cut the circuit here and now in between these two, in between these two points, we will use the meter that is called as ammeter. The current meter is called as ammeter. And if the current is smaller, then instead of ammeter, we use the milliammeter or microammeter. <coughs> and if you want to find out, suppose the voltage across the resistor, then obviously we can take these two points just like this. We put some voltmeter here and it is passing through this. Sorry, not passing through this, across the two points of the resistor, we can find out the voltage. Also, we can find out the voltage across the diode like this. But if we want to find out the current through this circuit, then the ammeter or the milliammeter or the microammeter has to be connected in between. Here you can connect ammeter or here you can connect the ammeter. Okay. So this is the way where we can find out the uh, how to connect the circuit and where to connect the voltmeter and ammeter.
Now the third important point is in any experiment we have two different variables, two types of variables. So what are these two types of variables? One variable is called as independent variable. Independent means it does not depend on any other parameter. For example, in this case voltage. Now voltage does not depend on any other parameter. So voltage, for example, if you take the battery. So battery has the voltage. Voltage. Okay. And there is another parameter which is called as dependent parameter. Now in dependent parameter, this dependent parameter will appear only if there is independent parameter. So suppose in this circuit, just above, above circuit, we have the voltage here. If there is a voltage, there will be current. If there is no voltage, there is no current. So current is dependent parameter. Always remember, current is dependent parameter. So current. And why we are studying these two? Because whenever we plot the graph, between two parameters, always we take the independent parameter on x-axis. This is independent. So that is what we are controlling. Okay. And here, for example, voltage we are controlling. We, we can increase the voltage, decrease the voltage. So voltage will be here. And the dependent parameter current will be on y-axis here. Why? Because we cannot control the uh, current directly. That means we cannot use the current here and uh, sorry, the uh, current on x axis and uh, voltage on y axis. Or we can say that we cannot give the current and create the voltage. It is not possible. We can create the voltage and then the current will flow. So the graph may be something like this for resistor. It will be as voltage increases, the current increases and you know the V is equal to IR. Okay. So that is the Ohm's law. 